Fortnite, an online battle royale fad that for the better or for the worse has lasted much longer than a fortnight. Last year alone, Fortnite made over 2.4 billion in revenue, but what if one of the more lucrative games of the past decade suddenly got banned? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer a plethora of queries from topics like science, history, mystery, pop culture and indeed gaming. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm asking what if Fortnite got banned? Cue the gasps of shock and horror. Before we get into this video, I want to ask you guys if you play Fortnite, do let me know in the comments section down below. Also do let me know your hot tips for survival. Like this video, share it with a friend. You know you want to. Fortnite is one of the most popular games in the world right now with over 250 million registered users. This free to play battle royale and sandbox game was released in 2017 and rose to popularity quickly, taking over YouTube and Twitch gaming scenes. That being said, its popularity has only opened up to controversy. Is it too graphic? Is it too violent? Are its V-Bucks getting kids and heck even adults into unexpected debt? What if the rug was suddenly pulled out under Fortnite and it was banned? Well, there have been some rumours that this could be a possibility in China, although as of yet they seem to be unfounded. But why? Why would we ban it? Well, a lot of people think that Fortnite is simply too violent for the children and young adults to which it seems to be such a big hit. Despite not actually showcasing blood and gore, there is no denying that it is a murderous survival game. So let's say it's cancelled, what then? The key geographical demographics for Fortnite are the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, France and Germany. In these areas, people would be pretty disappointed that they no longer have their favourite game to play. No doubt they would turn to online community forums like Reddit as well as other forms of social media to complain. There would be petitions, rant videos, perhaps there would even be riots. If people felt like the game ban was infringing on their human rights, they could be tempted into staging wider protests about their freedom. Would the ban be a sign of tighter regulations around personal entertainment? Would this be a societal step backwards? How would a ban even be policed anyway? This is the internet age, is it not? There would always be ways around getting copies. I imagine streaming Fortnite on Twitch would be even more popular than ever, and only a matter of time until the streams got taken down. It's exciting. It seems like an economically bad decision anyway. The company makes a lot of money for the American economy. The game sells cosmetic items as well as passes to its players, and by doing this, it makes $300 million a month. It's lucrative. 68.8% of its players have admitted to spending money on the game, and the typical average spend overall was $60 per American. On top of this, if Fortnite were banned, not only would it have negative impacts on the economy, but these players would not get any of their money back from game makers Epic Games. They would lose all of the items associated with their account and everything that they had built in the world, which brings me back to discontent and perhaps even rioting. A ban of Fortnite would have a big impact on the world of esports. The uproar felt in citizen gamers would be intensified by actual esport gamers. The United States currently has 1,006 professional players competing in tournaments for Fortnite who have won almost $12 million in prize money in the past year. France has 338 professional players competing in tournaments who have netted $2 million in a year. Now, if Fortnite were to get banned globally, there would be the biggest outrage from these countries. These players would lose out on their income, and I genuinely feel like the world of esports, over a billion dollar industry, would rally behind the game. If Fortnite is first, then what next? The biggest esport games are Counter Strike, League of Legends, Call of Duty. Also, games with the key elements of violence. If they were banned too, it would take down the whole industry, which would be a major step back for modern entertainment. When one game is threatened, aren't they all? If Fortnite was banned, there would likely be a rise in sales and popularity amongst competitive games, but again, how long until they're banned too? Look, ultimately, unless there's some kind of unimaginable scandal associated with the game, it simply isn't going to get banned. The debate about whether or not video games are too violent has been raging since the 1980s, and as you can see, the video game has prevailed, and I suspect it always will. It's not like Fortnite is doing anything particularly controversial if you take in the wider landscape. Sure, I bet a lot of us are here for conversations surrounding stricter age controls for violent games. Not that Fortnite is the worst of them by any means, but you know, 
Personally, I wouldn't want to focus my time and energy banning video games with guns, I would be more concerned with banning actual guns. Call me crazy. The real question is here, what if Fortnite was real, but ho ho ho, you bet that that is already a question here on Life's Biggest Questions. So why don't you go forth and watch it, for good times sake, for the nostalgia. But I warn you though, battle royales are only fun when you're playing them, living them, really, really not so much. So guys, what did you think to this video? Are you a Fortnite player? What would you do if it got banned? Would you go on strike? Would you play Counter Strike? Good. Great. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Before I go, I'm just going to read some comments from one of my most recent videos. What if the sun moved closer to the earth? Batman Forever 08 said, What if the sun moved closer to the earth? Short answer, we all die. Long answer, we all die, but with science. Absolutely, I think you've just cracked the formula of the channel. Herbert or Lena said, What if we are being controlled by aliens? I mean, that's a big question. Elon Musk does think that we're living in a simulation, so perhaps it's true. Drunk Potato said, I would call the sun Ricardo. A great name if ever I heard one. Alan Clare said, What if suddenly everyone became a genius? Questions, questions. Questions, answers, answers. Maybe a new channel name for us. I like it. Thank you. Once again, please do leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.